Alex and Taylor are new high school graduates about to attend their dream college, CMC, in the fall. Alex and Taylor first met at a Seattle new student orientation party. They can't wait to start their own CMC stories. Their CMC emails are starting to buzz with welcome letters, woe guides, and dorm information. As incoming freshmen, Alex and Taylor know they will have to choose their first CMC dorm room, something they have both been looking forward to from the start of high school. To Alex, dorms mean a new roommate, intramurals, and a new room. To Taylor, a soccer player and social butterfly, dorms mean new friends, dorm decorations, and fun lounge activities. Alex is used to his large room with a nice view from the city apartment. Taylor is used to sharing a room with her sister and loves having a one-story house with a large backyard to practice her soccer tricks. Will either of them be able to find something similar to what they have at home? Or will they have to venture into the unknown while being in a completely new place? We'll find out as Alex and Taylor seek out new dorms for their freshman year. I'm Alex, I'm from Seattle, Washington. I'm going to be an economics major at CMC this fall. I hope to be involved in ASCMC uh, and also want to join an acapella group and continue to play my guitar. After CMC, I'd like to work for EY or KPMG. Hi, I'm Taylor. I live in Seattle, Washington. I'm gonna be a philosophy and government dual major. I'll also be playing soccer in the fall. Um, I'm looking forward to all the clubs and activities on CMC's campus and I hopefully will be um, going to law school after graduation. With school right around the corner, they both have to decide where to live soon. I'd like a big window with a nice view. Um, I would also like to be close to intramural fields, and I hear all the econ class are close to Bauer, so being close to Bauer would be nice. He'd also like a large room where he can jam out and hang with friends. I want to be close to the soccer field and the new Roberts Pavilion. I also want to be close to the Kravis Center. I like that cool cube space. Also on Taylor's wish list, she wants to be close to the laundry room and bathroom and would not prefer a staircase. First up, RA Sam will show Alex and Taylor Marks Hall at the south end of the campus. Hi, I'm Sam. I'm a rising senior at CMC. I am a Lit and Legal Studies major and I'm RA at Phillips. I really can't wait to meet all the new freshmen. Alex and Taylor are going to have such a fun time looking at all the dorms I have for them. So this is Marks Hall. We'll be entering on this side where the new lounge and stairs are. Traditionally, boys live on the first and third floor, and girls live on the second story. I don't know if I like that. Do girls have to live on the second floor? Well, the girls' bathroom will be on that floor, so yes, but the stairs aren't that bad. Let's go check out the lounge. It's an open space with vaulted ceilings, and there's always going to be dorm events going on in here. Oh, perfect. I love this modern furniture. Yeah, all the furniture is new because of the renovations. Alex, if you want, we can show you a room on the third floor that's open. Alex and Taylor ventured to see a double room for Alex to live in with another new freshman. Oh wow, this is a pretty large space. Yeah, this is a double room. It's the same size as the double rooms in the other halls. It has two open closets and it's furnished with a desk, a chair, bed frames, and mirror, and drawer sets. That's actually great. I bet we can get a bunk bed going in here and have a lot more room for activities. Yeah, that's what the bed frames are for. Is that Pomona out there? Yes, you will have a view of our neighbors over 6th Street, but it's just the tennis court, so it's not that bad. Okay, I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> Alex walks around the room to inspect the furniture and closets, and then the three walk down the hall to check the bathrooms out. After seeing the shiny floors and large shower and toilet stalls, the three troop down to the basement and laundry room. This is a lot of stairs. I don't know how I feel about carrying my laundry down three flights of stairs. It's also kind of narrow. Well, you won't be doing laundry every week or even every month, so it won't be too bad. <laughs> That's true. Alex and Taylor take a look at the large laundry room and then head into the basement lounge. Whoa, what's all this music equipment? This is a Mark's Basement practice space. It's a place for students to use, record, and play music. Also, right next door is the cave, and we have tons of open mic nights and performances there. It has a lot of sofas. It's awesome. Hmm, I really like that there are two lounges. That's a lot of space for dorm activities. Yeah, we have tons of dorm events here. If you want, we can look upstairs at a room for you, Taylor. They walk upstairs to where there is an open girls' single across from the bathroom. 
I like that the bathrooms are right there. That's so convenient. It is. Let's take a look inside the room. Oh, wow, I really like this view. I can just see where all my decorations will go. I don't know how I feel about that laminate flooring, though. What is that wall? Well, that wall is for pinning things to, so you can put posters or lights up there. Oh, that's really cool. And the floor is super easy to clean, but if you want, you could put a cover rug over it. Hmm. I've always shared a room with my sister. I think it'd be good to try out having a single room this time. Alex and Taylor and Sam head back downstairs and discuss the dorms they have just seen. I love the music space, and I like the large room. Yeah, I really like the bathroom. It was right next door, and it had a pinning wall and a window, and I like the idea of being in a single. Yeah, the window and the view are not my favorite, though. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of the stairs. I have to work so hard to do my laundry. And the location isn't ideal. The soccer field's pretty far and crevice. Yeah, and I wouldn't be close to Bauer. Now Sam has lined up another dorm for Alex to look at. After looking at Mark's, it was clear that Alex did not like the view of Pomona. He also did not care for the window size. Hi guys, let's take a look at Burger. I have a single room lined up for you, Alex. Oh wow, okay, first thing I notice is that view. It's a one story view. Yeah, it is a first story view, but you get to see the new Roberts Pavilion and it's a pretty big window. I think I would like that view if I had it. Yeah, and I can actually see the Bauer Center from here, which means I'm much closer than in Mark's. And this room is huge too. Yeah, these mid-quad singles are pretty big. I think I'd really like having all that space. Do you wanna go check out the laundry room and bathrooms? Yeah. Sam shows Alex the newer bathroom and laundry room, and then they walk into the lounge. So, this only has one lounge, but it's very large and new, and you also have access to the courtyard and the other dorms. What do you think? So, no music room? No, Burger is not equipped with a music room, but with your single, you can always set up a place for your guitar. Well, I do like the huge room, and it is closer to Bauer and Collins, so that'd be super convenient. And I wasn't really sure about the view at first, but now that I think about it, I will be seeing Robert's Pavilion, which will be super nice. And I do have a courtyard coming out of it, and, you know, despite the fact that there's no music room, the courtyard is definitely a nice plus. After Alex has seen two rooms, it's time for Sam to show Taylor another room. Taylor, I've lined up another double room for you. This one's in Claremont Hall, and it's actually on the first floor. exactly what I wanted. Wow, this room is huge. Would I have to share it? Yes, you would have a roommate, but it's nice to spend your first year with some company. I've always had company. It'd be nice to try something different. Well, you do get your own closet, and there's a big window and a pinning wall. I like the feel of this room. The view is great. Um, I also like how it's close to Robert's Pavilion and the soccer fields, and the courtyard's right outside. Yes, the courtyard is a new addition with Claremont Hall. It combines three of our residence halls, and it's nice to have a year-round warmth of Southern California right outside. <laughs> Taylor, as a Seattleite, loved the new open courtyard. She liked that her room would be on the first floor and would have a new lounge nearby. She did not, however, like that she would have to share her room. After sharing a room with her sister growing up, she looked forward to some independence at college. Alex, Taylor, it's time for you to make your decision. I'll give you two some time to decide. Alex and Taylor have seen three halls, but two rooms each. Alex's first option was the Marks double where he didn't like the window or view, and he would probably have to put in a bunk bed in order to have room for a couch for his friends to chill on. I could definitely live in the lounge downstairs. I can just sleep on the couches and the laundry room is down there too. I honestly could just live down there. I don't think I could live there. Like I would have to walk upstairs to see light. Taylor's first option was a large mark single with the big window and bright view. The room, however, was upstairs and she would have to walk to the basement to do her laundry. I like that it was right next to the bathroom and I also love that it was a single. But I don't know how I feel about going up and down stairs considering I'll be coming from soccer practice and clubs um, and it's just going to get annoying. Alex's second option was the roomy burger single. He would have his own window and a view of Robert's Pavilion and Bauer. The view wasn't that great, but the size of the room really made up for it and I could definitely use all that space. Taylor's second option was in Claremont Hall. I don't see how I could go from living with my sister to living with a complete stranger. There is the courtyard though and it's new dorm, so that would be ideal. For Alex, will it be the music room accessible or the big burger room? For Taylor, will it be the one room wonder or the fun in the sun? So which one will they choose? I think I know what room I'm gonna choose. Me too. 
guys, welcome to my room, come on in. So I decided on the Claremont Double. Um, even though I have a roommate, she's great and I'm really enjoying having her. And there's also Courtyard, which is right next to me, and then I'm close to Robert Civilian and the rest of campus. Um, the soccer field is right behind us, so I can play soccer whenever I want. And I really got to personalize my space and make it my own. Um, I don't know if it's all the vitamin D I'm getting, but I'm really loving living in Claremont. Hey, welcome to my room. Come on in. I got the double room in Marks. My roommate and I got a bunk bed, though. Uh, I also have two lounges to go to, and I have the music room, which is the most important part to me. Uh, I decided the view was fine, even though it is a Pomona, and I do have a bit of a longer trek to Bauer, but I can just hop down a few flights of stairs, and I'm in, and I'm in the cave just jamming out. Um, so yeah, I love this place. I cannot be happier anywhere else. 